remorse. Have you never felt it? Remorse for what? You people have done everything in the world to me. Doesn't that give me equal what? right? I can do mm -hmm. anything I want to you. Yo, people. what's going on? It's OBZ from OBZBeats.com. And today we are doing uh, an artist interview with Fix. How do you say it? Fix, sir? What do you think's or Fix, uh, just like, just fix it, man. Yeah, yeah, just fix it. Oh, yeah, man, sweet, sweet. So, this is about... Right then, let's uh, let's let's go easy. So, where are you from? And your interest is critical. Uh, originally from the south, UK. Um, doors a bit wavy. Yeah, yeah. Can you keep yeah, man. Um, currently in the Midlands at the moment. So. Are you ready to yeah. Okay, whereabouts? <clears throat> well, I'm actually all over the place at the moment. Um, at the moment, I'm in uh, Gloucestershire. Yeah, yeah. So a little bit kind of south of it. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know exactly where you are. Alright, cool. So let's get straight into it. So, what age did you kind of merge into music? Uh, well, I've always been in um, in some form of band or another. Um, kind of started in the metal scene. Yeah. Um, rock and to that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, which is when I was in my mid teens. Um, did a bit of touring in my 20s. Yeah. Um, different scene. Completely different scene. Um, but yeah, still cool though. You know, some good guys. Oh, of course, of course. So, like, uh, where did you tour? Like, what was the crowd like? Um, yeah. oh. um, I did quite a few tours of just the south um, in my early years. Um, did a, like a European tour, um, oh, cool. mainly Poland. Sweet. Um, which was. That's wicked. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember a lot of it, you know, uh, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I was in, in a band with uh, four Polish guys. And, um, oh, my God. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. In the language, but, oh, um, you know, I, I think it was cool, I think. You know. No, that's pretty cool. Okay, okay. So, like, so you said you went into music when you were younger. Like, where was, like, where were you when you decided that you wanted to be an artist or in a band? Do you remember where you were when you made that decision? Yeah. Um, I think uh, a lot of the time when I was younger, uh, I must have been kind of around 12, maybe 13. Yep. Um, some pretty heavy stuff was going on in my life and um artists i was listening to were really speaking to me and uh, i think that's really important and you know that it kind of made me want to do that kind of stuff myself um almost self-help thing really you know um, of course it was really good back then as well you know back in the 90s yeah yeah loved it you know, if I okay. To somebody, okay. I'd take this so, beat you to death with it. like, when you were a youngster, then, like teenager, you know what I'm saying, or even before that, like, who is the most, like, iconic kind of musician or band or rapper, singer, punk, classical, whatever you used to listen to? You know what I'm saying? Like, who was your most, like, listened to or inspirational to you? Uh, that's a difficult question. Um, not because uh, I've, I've always grown up listening to a lot of different genres. Yeah. Um, I'd say non kind of hip hop, non rap. Um, yeah. David Bowie, Iron Maiden. Um, just mainly kind of the stage shows that they've gone. You know. Yeah, classic. Um, classic stuff. Yeah, man. Sure, sure. Um, really, really decent production as well. Um, Hip hop stuff, uh, rap. Um, always love Wu Tang, uh, Tupac. Yeah. You know the, the greats, really. You know, um, there's no kind of surprises. There, you know, you know how it is. Um, you know, early Dre, uh, Snoop, you know, that kind of stuff. Obviously, when Eminem was Slim Shady back in yeah. the day. Um, but things are different now. Things are different. Yeah, the music all the time. Is fucking broken. Oh, now. The boys broken. <laughs> broken. For real. Hey, yeah, what can you do though, really? I suppose you can just try and just bring it back you a little bit. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah. You've, you've got to try. You've got to try. Definitely. I mean, that's what I was kind of what put me into it, really. Um, I was I was going to say in a, a mate's car, and he just had uh, Spotify. Yeah. Um, Random. 
I don't know what the shit was, man, but he put something on. I had no idea what the guy was talking about, you know? Yeah. And I, I, I don't mean, uh, I, Pastor Rhymes, don't know what he's talking about, kind of speed. Yeah, it was just skill, it was just you know. Bullshit. It's just nonsense. <laughs> yeah. No, I so understand. Pick a word and just. You know. It's literally it. It's just hubba da bubba da burr, bubba da burr, hubba da bubba da burr. It's just rubbish. It's just there's just nothing to it. It's just yeah, excruciatingly painful. <laughs> it's just a headache. <laughs> it's, it's not good. And that's kind of what um, kind of what's pushed me into it really. Um, yeah. I just say I I crave the old days. I crave the old days. You know yeah. when rappers were real. I actually had something to say. You yeah. know. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You know you've got the um, the usual kind of you know nonchalant bullshit that goes with uh, that kind of stuff but they had something that they wanted to say something on their chest they wanted to get off you know yeah now it's like hey let's just make the money let's just say some shit down the microphone let's just shout you know and yeah there's no there's no content you know no, there's not there's that's not my opinion no I, I agree with you i think it's rubbish i know a lot of other people as well that yeah. would agree as well it's just it's just rubbish like real talk like yeah they used to, they, you know, the old, the older rappers back in the day, what you call the OG rappers now, they used to talk about how some, you know, not yeah. doing drugs and like things like this. And now everybody's talking about do drugs, do this. And they're glam- like glamorizing it. You know what I'm saying? It's just, man, it's a fucking joke, really. <laughs> like, I feel very strong on this stuff, man. Real talk. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's just, it's, it makes me sound like a real old man, but it's, it's not good for the kids, you know? I mean, they're going to grow up it's thinking not. that this is. Except yeah, normal music. Yeah, where where's it gonna go? Where's it gonna go? You know, it's just gonna get dumber. You know, yeah, um, that's it. Less content, just noises. You know, literally. I'm also really old. Yeah. No, 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 no. Because I know a lot of people that would agree with you, even youngsters who would agree with you. Yeah. you know what I'm saying it's just one of them. It's just that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, like that thing with Post Malone. Post Malone did a did a song over one of Ozzy Osbourne's track and they're like you got kids saying that who's Ozzy Osbourne Post Malone's made Ozzy oh. Osbourne famous it's like shut the fuck up man you don't even like like seriously fucking just stop <laughs> like that shit fucks me off because Ozzy Osbourne fucking great great mate honestly fucking yeah I've been doing that for legend years and years yeah. mate. exactly yeah straight up I just, yeah. I just don't understand kids these days it's millennials yeah. man they're just fucking broken <laughs> Bad news. Bad news, man. Bad news. Real shit. But anyway, we could we could stay on this topic all day. So let's move on. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. So like, what are you most passionate about in music? Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, music. Um, like I say, it's it's all about content. Um, as we were saying, you know, um, it's all about a message. There's, you know, yeah. you've, got, you've got to be something. There's got to be a reason, you know, for for you doing. Oh uh, yeah. Hey, obviously you've got the the money side of things, um, yeah. popularity, etc. Um, but I, I kind of hope that that comes after people listen to your message. You know. Yeah. I mean, if you've got, if you've got nothing to say and you're popular, what does that say about your popularity? You yeah. know, you, you've got to talk real. Otherwise, there's just no point, man. There's just no, no I, point. I get it. I completely agree with you. There has to be a strong message or something that needs to be taken from yeah. this story you know what i'm saying it hits people yeah. no i understand that completely i agree i really do agree so like why do you make the music that you do uh there's a lot of stuff going on at the moment um a lot of stuff that i want to say myself um in the media um and i think kids listen to music you know people listen to music yeah. if you talk to somebody down the pub or you know or wherever um yeah. some of the stuff that i talk about people look at me and go hey man what are you talking about you know yeah that's conspiracy you know you it's talking? not though this is this is this is shit that people need to talk about that's real <laughs> like it's real I'm, I'm i'm expecting tinfoil hats to arrive in the post you know um, yeah, like, no, i know exactly what you mean <laughs> and, then, and then it comes to like that it's real and and I'm just like, the well, like yeah, exactly. Yeah. You don't want to warn them, free one. Exactly. But I think if you do it through music, um, people listen. If, yeah. if people listen to music, I mean, even if it's just the beat, they like the beat, yeah, then sometimes that message seems through anyway. And, yeah, it's um, not a subconscious thing, you know, you can make a difference, no, uh, even if it's, it's true. True. You know, 
Yeah, no, of course, definitely. No, I definitely agree. I definitely agree with you. Cool. So, like, what rituals or routines do you have before writing or, you know, heading off to the studio? Or, like, play, I don't know, not, maybe yeah. not such writing, but, like, either playing an instrument or, you know. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, um, as far as instruments are concerned, I think um, sometimes I just pick it up and then whatever yeah. you feel comes out. Um, I've never been one for playing other people's stuff. Yeah. Um, one, one thing I've never done. I think um, as far as lessons and things like that were concerned, I never really took lessons. Um, so you were self-taught? Yeah. I mean, I, I think we're all mentored in some way because yeah. you hear something you like, you take that on board, you know? Yeah, so it's yeah, and you, like you just tamper with it. Mentoring. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but I think rituals with uh, lyrics is mainly down to what I'm feeling. If I feel a certain way, yeah. Um, normally, if I'm pissed, if I'm real pissed off, that's the the best time for me to write because I know yeah. it's going to be true. I know it's going to be real. It's going to yeah. make sense to me, um, and it normally just comes out. So I turn it yeah. on a tap, you know. Yeah, um, no, you don't have to try too hard. Um, and then you know you find the beat as well, and you mix it with the beat. And if it doesn't sound exact you can kind of chop and change yeah, you can tweak it and move things around and yeah, yeah. i mean i very rarely start a track and start another track before i finish that other track yeah um every now and again i go oh that'll sound real good but not on this track yeah no i understand yeah but rituals i like silence before i before i work yeah okay Definitely. That's, that's real different compared to most people, do you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. the other artists that I've spoken to, like, they're still, like, smoke a joint or do some meditation or, yeah. I don't know, drink or whatever, do you know what I'm saying? Something like that to get yeah. a little bit out there to release that kind yeah, of activity. Yeah. But that's what everybody's got their own different ways, you know what I'm saying, of doing things. So it's each to their own. Yeah, <clears throat> definitely. Okay. So are there any resources that you've used to help you advance in like music, whether it were being in band or doing stuff now or when you were younger, do you know what I'm saying? Like, and it kind of elevated you to get out there in front of people more? Um, I think um, it's mainly just people, people around me, um, yeah. advice, taking advice from people. Um, I know we've had a little chat in the past. I appreciate yeah. that as well, man. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, you know, I mean, you. I, I researched the crap of quite a lot of stuff, you know, um, whether it's different production me methods, um, yeah. you know, beat patterns, that kind of stuff. Yeah, um, yeah I mean, I've, I've had a lot of experience with the live stuff. I mean, that's that's where I'm at. I mean, I, yeah. I one way to go out live. It's, that's one way for. Um, I bet it's a good feeling, man. A good feeling. Oh, it's, it's immense. It's immense. You change. You, you turn into some sort of beast. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. It's cool. Okay, it's yeah. what you transform. It's nice. Okay. So, I don't know if I answered your question or not, man. <laughs> no, I've no, been sorry, what kind of what kind of advice would you give to people who are starting out, do you know what I'm saying? So if they wanted to try and get some publicity or you know, just get in front of a few people or do some shows, like what would you say would be the best thing for them to do? <clears throat> surround yourself. Surround yourself with good people. Um it's real easy to surround yourself with the wrong people. Yes. Um I mean I I I probably could have got, you know, more successful than I was with um, the the bands that I was in. Yeah. Uh, but I just had the wrong people around me. Yeah. Um, take criticism as well. Yeah. Um, it's it's cool to be self-critical. You've got to be self-critical, otherwise yeah. you can't protect yourself. But if somebody says no, man, that's that's fucking dope. Don't fuck with that. That's that needs to stay as it is. Yeah. Um, sometimes it's good to just step back, take a break, yeah. and have another listen another time. You know, take a break. Yeah. Take a break. It's always always worth taking a break. Definitely. No, definitely. No, I definitely agree with you on that one. It's one of them things you can you can fall so into such a crazy kind of uh, chaotic pattern of just creating and creating and creating. You don't take breaks, okay. and then you come to this stop, and you're like, "What? What's going on?" And it's like, yeah. "Well, you should have just stopped and stepped back, like you just said." Just yeah, yeah. Uh, what was going on so, especially hey. if you listen to and stuff over and over again as well because you're 
I know you're trying to get a feel for the lyrics or you're, you're trying to add a, a melody over them. Um, yep. If you do loops before the melody. Um, yep. Sometimes it is good just to kind of shut that beat off. Yeah, definitely. You know? definitely. Think about it, process it, and then go back to it. Um, yeah. Otherwise, it can, it can keep you awake. It can keep you oh, awake. Yeah. It'll drive you nuts. <laughs> It'll drive you insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I love this beat, but I'm gonna kill someone in a minute. <laughs> yeah, no, that's real. No, that's real. Okay, so what would you say is your best musical quality? Um, I'd say my my overall performance live. Okay. Yeah, my live stuff. Um, so is it like is it the way that you handle, like you know, yourself on stage, or is it can you control yeah. the crowd, or like is yeah. it the way that you play? Does it make people feel a certain way? Like um, everything, man. Everything. Um, like I say, I mean, I've I've been on stage before. I've come off stage an hour later, and I've kind of looked back and kind of thought to myself, where did where did that go? You yeah. know, I've just it's like I've stepped on, stepped off. Yeah. Um you just like yeah. I say you, you kind of met metamorphosize into something else. Yeah. And no, that's cool. Your your crowd or your people, you know, they're they're either with you or they're not. And if they're not with you, you've got to get them with you. And yes, yeah. you know, otherwise they're gonna leave. So you've you've got to you've got to take that control, you know. This is true. Um, but yeah, it's it's adrenaline. I mean, anybody that speaks to me like in the street or people I know. Would say I'm quite a chilled out person, you know, quite yeah, you back. seem like it, definitely. On stage, ah, just yeah. something, something clicks, man. Yeah, something yeah. clicks. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's got to come out, man. It's got to happen at some point. You've got to have that release, definitely. 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 Okay, so what do you wish you knew now when you started? Uh, like I said, well, yeah, um, surrounding yourself with good people. Um, right. Some people really aren't your friends. You know, yeah, no, I know. They say you're they're your friends. <laughs> they ain't your friends, man. No, they're just um, there. Yeah, they like to ride off the back of things. Yeah. You know? um, and when you get too well liked or too well known or you're doing well for yourself, they want to kind of bring you down, bring you down yeah. a notch because of their own insecurities. You know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I just wish that I kind of surrounded myself with the right people and and listen to advice as well definitely <coughs> definitely okay you can never yeah. have enough advice well that's it isn't it sometimes it depends on what the advice is though do you know what i'm saying people are just it's one of them yeah. isn't it it's a difficult one it is a difficult one because people people could just be jealous and just say blah 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 this yeah. sounds like shit and then you'll actually get people like well on this verse you know on this riff or this bar you were out by so you know, then, uh, maybe practice a little bit more do you know what i'm saying yeah. like that's constructive criticism yeah. proper feedback yeah. not just bullshit feedback yeah there's people that tell you what you want to hear as well you know oh yeah there's somebody the saying oh, yeah, sounds great, man, but it's not you're just like well i know it's not so what are you talking about what are you listening yeah. to yeah you know you're also um, not listening to me or you're just talking shit take your time yeah. out. let me pick your track this <laughs> man i want to see what shit you listen to fucking yeah <laughs> Pull that jacket <laughs> on the phone, yeah, yeah definitely. You're not really. Yeah, no, um, yeah, yeah, man. You you've got to you've got to have the right people, man. You know, and you you can tell them a mile off as well. You know? Oh yeah, you definitely. Know, down on that, you know, it depends. I suppose it depends on the person. If they're a shouted person, do you know what I'm saying? Who hasn't really done much of the life and just jumps into the music scene or whatever, is a yeah, bit yeah. of a, a recluse. And it might be difficult. But then saying that, like, I know myself. I'm a very well travel person jumps so I've been all around the UK and different things like this. I've met loads of different people from different cultures and stuff and yeah. a lot of different things. So and it's probably the same with you as well. You travel you've traveled fucking you've been to Europe and shit with the Polish band. So <laughs> I'm sure yeah. you've got a good idea of what people are like. Yeah man. Yeah definitely, definitely. I think as well that um I mean I've had it you know quite a lot in the past with with the whole band scene. You'll get bands that they'll want to play with your band not because they like you or they like your stuff yeah but because they know you can bring the crowd in yeah so it's just like okay that's that's cool you know you want to further your own career but don't yeah. come up to me saying hey man i like your stuff you know you're never going to listen to my stuff what are you talking about you know yeah no, I some it's, it's, i found that there's although 
when you listen to hip hop, you can hear the egos and you know, yeah. it's great because it's powerful and it's cool. But I've never had somebody wanting to collaborate with me until I started doing the hip hop stuff. You know, the rap it's strange, stuff. isn't it? Hip hop's very, everybody wants them to jump onto everybody else's bandwagon. Yeah, yeah. Like um, but, it, but it's cool, you know, because it's, it's, hey, this track has both of us on, or three yeah. of us, or four of us, or, or whatever. You know, so you're still getting your stuff out there. Yeah. You know? Yeah, no, of course, no, of course. It's worth it, you know, it's worth it. Different styles as well, you know. Um, yeah. The metal scene at the moment is just all the same. Um, and it's the same with, this whole mumble rap bullshit that's going on. It's, it's all the same. It's all the same. It will change know. eventually. It'll have to. Well, I hope so. I hope so. Um, Me too. <laughs> I'm not going not, not gonna to diss anybody uh, on this, um, but I've, I've heard some shit, man, that I'm just like, is this, this guy needs medical attention? Um, yeah. We need to know where this guy lives. He needs help. Yeah. <laughs> you know? No, I get so, you. I do. I really do. I don't even, I just try to steer away from trap music now. Like, especially like just like trap songs in general. Like, I'll make yeah. trap music, but like, yeah. I'll just really try to avoid listening to actual trap artists. It's just, I don't know, unless I know them as a very kind of uh, lyric, like a proper lyricist of a person and they speak actual, you know, real content as opposed to just bullshit, you know, then I'll oh, listen. Cool. But you know, that, that, I just steer clear, man. Listen to like yeah. Rammstein or something. Or... Yeah, I, I like some of the beats, you know. Yeah. Um, some of the beats and times in uh, in trap music are, are quite sound, you know. Um, it's just the the shit they put over the top, man. <laughs> you know, so like baking a cake and yeah, it's exactly that. I was gonna say the exact same thing. It's like putting fucking bad icing on a, on a good cake, real shit. Yeah. So how do you feel about your music and you know people's engagement towards it? Um. Well, I mean, I'm I'm, I'm kind of just starting out, really. Um, yeah. You know, so it's, it's it's taking time, but I've got I've got some good support. I know some good people. Um, good. We'll uh, be doing some collab soon, which is cool. Oh, um, but yeah, um, I'm I'm loving it. I'm loving it's it, man. It's, it's, cool. it's cool. Enjoying that's it, writing. Man. That's it. Well, that's it. It's it's enjoying the fun, isn't it? It's, it's all about having fun whilst you do it as well. With self expression and creativity, it always makes it true. Happy yeah. stuff. So, do you have any projects going on at the moment? And if so, how do you feel about it, or like, or how they're going? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, well, I've still got uh, kind of quite a lot to get off my chest, so I've got plenty of material. Um, yeah. I've, I've been writing for days, you know, um, and it's just getting beats for it. Um, doing some uh, collaborations coming up. Yeah. Um, watch this space. I'm hoping they'll be done relatively soon. Um, I'm actually going to start again. What's that, mate? Too true. Too true. Yes, yeah, that's yeah. the one. Well, I'm really looking forward to that, man. It's going to be um, interesting, definitely. Working the style is is tasty. It's tasty. Oh, indeed, um, it's different. It's very different. Two US for the UK and two UK for the US, mate. Oh, that's what they say. Yeah. It's a bit of a, in between. It's a very different, different, different animal out there, isn't it? Yeah, no, he is. Um, he lives down the fucking road as well, so <laughs> it's one of them. <laughs> nice, Definitely. nice. It's all good. Yeah, yeah, a few bits and bobs going on. Um, hoping to drop a new uh, another track um, soon uh, before that before that comes out. Yeah. Um, lyrics are down for that, um, but I'm actually going to start hitting the studio properly. Um, yeah. On the vocals and stuff, so it should be good. Epic, epic. All right, man. Well, that is that is all of our questions. Like, so is there anything you wanna, anything else you wanna say to the this awesome public who's watching? This? Ah, well, anybody, uh, anybody listening, I'm sure there'll be uh, quite a lot, quite a lot of people listening. Um, I've seen some of your other stuff as well, man. So yeah, <laughs> so um, just uh, everybody listening, just to support people, man. Um, That's real. You know, don't, don't don't just flick through. Have a listen. You know, there might be something you like. You know, I mean, how, how are you going to know? You got to taste it. You got to taste it before you, you know, before you pass judgment. You know. That's the one. That's the one. These are wise words, people. You should listen to this. This is real. 
This is real. This is UK knowledge. This isn't Canadian knowledge. This isn't US knowledge. This is UK all day right now. Yeah. No, all right, man. Well, drop people the social media and then I can do it as well. So in the outro, do you know what I'm saying? But let people know where they can find you, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Cool. So um, Facebook is literally uh, Fixer. Um, but I spell F I X underscore X E R. Um, cool. YouTube, exactly the same. It's pretty much the same, to be fair, man. Um, yeah. You'll find me. Um, there's actually no pictures of me up. Um, keep it a low profile uh, for a few reasons, uh, which I won't divulge. Um, but yeah, uh, you'll, an you'll, old find me. you'll find me. He's an old school murderer. He was a hitman uh, for the Russian mafia. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> That's it. That's cool. That's cool. But yeah, you'll you'll find me. You'll find me. My uh, my logo on everything is is Fixer, so you'll find me. That's the one, right? Well, thank you very much, Fixer, for joining us uh, tonight on this BTB Spice interview. Um, yeah, yeah baby. We'll be doing this again, this rock and roll soon. But to everyone else, thank you for joining us. Strong you know saying, stop like we plummeted to darker days. No summer day took it, look close at the box in the corner, spilling lies, sell a vice, death. You'll never really reveal who done it. I'm sitting crying to watch my son's coma toes as the life slipped by. And they just sighed, but with no words of meaning, just stuck with broken legs, heads down, phones are gleaming, now we're screaming. So stress on doctor's orders, but still, I'm sat here online streaming. You engineering, just look at the sky for the clearing. All this misdirection, atmospheric error, so